Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to our channel, A Cup of Art. I'm your host, Star, an 18-year-old self-taught artist. And today, I'm unboxing my first ever graphic tablet. So it's an XP Pen Innovative 16 graphic display tablet. It's my first graphic tablet anything. What I typically use to do art is my iPad 10.6 inches, and I use Procreate. But now with my XP Pen Innovative 16 graphic tablet, I'm using that, um, and I'm using Clip Studio Paint. So there will be a dedicated review to clip studio paint later on i just want to use it for a little bit longer but we'll give my first impressions to the tablet i'll give a little bit of my first impressions to clip studio paint itself so we're, let's get into the little bit of the asmr unboxing and then down the line in the video I'll come back with the voiceover to explain my thoughts and, and do the review for this tablet Packaging is so pretty. I'm excited. I can't wait to open this.
Okay guys, now that the pretty unboxing is over, what I'm using right now to hold my new tablet is a circle or table. Now that's not ideal because this does have to be plugged into a laptop, a PC, a MacBook to be able to use. And I don't know if I have any space to put a laptop over here. It might be enough space. Or it might be just right, but not enough because if I do one wrong move, it might actually fall. So I can put this as close as right here. I don't know if you can even see that on camera, but I'm going to be using my laptop right behind this. And that should be more than perfect. And we're going to get to get into plugging everything in now. Based on the videos that I've already seen, I know where these um, adapters should be plugged into. But of course, I have my manual. And since this is the first time I've ever, I'm ever doing something like this, let's not cheat our way through. I'm going to read the manual as carefully as possible to figure out what exactly I should do. But... I know where things should be plugged in, so should be okay. <laughs> Alright, starting off for the third time. Come on. <gasps> I get it, get it, get it. <gasps> Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> okay, so this is the XP Pen driver. And I'm going to like obviously of course finish setting it up. I just did like the initial downloading, but I haven't actually done anything yet in regards to setting it up. Um and I also have to look for my Krita download because Krita was also downloading. But we got it. We got it. <laughs> So here we have a little close-up of the pen. Jen, with her lovely nails, is displaying it for you all. Um, but I absolutely do love the pen. It was a little hard to kind of get used to because, as you know, I use an iPad for, for my drawing. And I use Procreate as my main software. And the Apple Pencil is very slim. It's just like the feel of a regular pencil, just slightly thicker. Um, so this was like a whole new experience for me with this type of pen. It's very bulgy towards the bottom and it gets thinner towards the top and it has two express keys on the pen itself that can go from like pencil to eraser. Um, and I just kept hitting the pen while I was drawing because I could not find a comfortable position to use the pen um, because I kept touching the express keys at the same time and my pen, my pen kept flicking from pencil to eraser constantly it was annoying but as i i've been using it for a couple of days now um only like two or three days at this point but i've gotten a lot more used to it and found a very comfortable position to actually hold the pen where i'm not pressing the express keys constantly so as i had said i did download krita and i was going to use krita just in the beginning so I can do this video and then later on down the line get Clipsio paint when I needed it but I just could not get Krita to work um I didn't know what was going on I really really tried my best if you guys do want to see a dedicated video for me using Krita I will be happy to do it but I did like watch a bunch of videos and it just I could not get it to work so I ended up downloading Clipsio paint we'll see that later on so this is me right now testing the response time to the pen um at this point I think this clip is me when I already got Clipsio Paint. So I'm doing this on Clipsio Paint. So you can kind of see how laggy the cursor was. It wasn't like, like, like on like par, like it wasn't like together with the tip. Um, and I was very confused because when I was testing it on Krita, it very much was aligned. But I think there was a one of two reasons why this was what was going on. Um, one, I think is because my laptop has been very buggy. And every once in a while, though, I don't show this in the video because I deleted the footage because it's just so frustrating. Every once in a while, my laptop would freeze, like my touchpad and my mouse would freeze. My keyboard would then just start randomly typing stuff into like search and things like that. It was very buggy. I don't know what was going on with my laptop. 
um but i later on down the line when I, i'm working on some artwork um you can tell by the bottom of my screen that i do i do get the windows 11 update and i think with that it really helped with the bugginess um and i wasn't having any more problems with my pen uh another solution i had um besides updating my, my windows was on the xp pen driver you can actually calibrate your pen so i think that if you're having this problem like right out the box which i, I was having um calibrate your pen um in the xp pen driver and that should fix the solution it should get everything together and i don't think you i don't think later on online you have to calibrate again because it should be it should just still be working um fine and so that was amazing um i'm still like you know test doing a couple brush strokes in clip studio but after this was after i calibrated my pen i was checking the response time everything was lined up so i thought okay let me do some little doodles so i'm just doodling my oc um elijah here um just for fun but later down the line I'll, i'm making an, an even bigger piece i'm not showing the full process of that piece because i would like to do a dedicated video about my experience with clip studio paint and that painting will be in that video so stay tuned if you if it's if you know you're interested in it um but yeah i had a blast with this um uh tablet i'm like very happy with my purchase um i will say a little bit of the pros and cons for you guys here uh right at the top of my head but i will have them on the screen um towards the end of the video so you guys can kind of read through it but definitely pros is the custom customizable express keys um clip studio paint obviously has express like shortcuts on the keyboard for the different tools um uh, if you look for it on their you know software and xp pen on their driver gives you the ability to customize what short key, what shortcuts you want on these express keys um since i'm very new to it i i still have to look around but i do i do keep the default xp pen like the default express keys that was already in the drive the driver um but now that i'm a little bit more familiar with the shortcuts and clip studio paint i can customize my express keys but typically really what i really need was just the eyedropper which the top four sets of express keys um one of those buttons are for my eyedropper and then the bottom four sets of the express keys one of them is for undo typically that's what i what i need um i do have express keys for changing like my my going through my different types of brushes because i really did flip through the blending brush the regular brush and airbrush while i was working through my piece and obviously the two dials um i like the outer dial as opposed to the inner dial and i barely use the inner dial um and i only used it if i um remembered that i had it but yeah i really like the auto dial compared to the inner another dial. pro for me was obviously the large modern slick thin design of this tablet if you compare xp pen tablets they regularly look the same but this one is very new i think um this one in their artist 16 pro the one that came out recently with like the new x3 chip i think they have more modern looking designs and that's what i like um i like that though the tablet is big it's also very portable because of how thin it is you just have to find the right bag or you can buy the protective casing um and bag from xp pen themselves i didn't do that um but my mom has like my mom has like just the perfect bag that actually fits this tablet and i was actually able to bring it to school with my my laptop um and it was actually heavy at all com with holding all of that together i like the drawing space that i have it's 15.6 drawing space so that's just the part you see that's like clip studio paint that's the drawing space and then they do have this black border and obviously the express keys on the side so the tablet is bigger than 50.6 inch 50.6 is what you get to draw and that's perfect for me or that's like really huge to me because i typically draw on a 9.7 inch ipad regular ipad that like was made like a couple of years ago i don't think they sell 9.7 inches anymore um they sell 10.6 inches um so that's just like an upgrade for me and i absolutely love it um the coloring this is like kind of a con the coloring was very like i couldn't get it to align with my laptop because my laptop was showing a different color the tablet was showing a different color and i didn't know which one was like wrong 
so I had to open up Instagram on my laptop and I looked at my pictures like my Instagram page and I looked at my artwork and then I compared it to the tablet and then I actually got my actual iPad where I actually did those artworks to see which one like could use them to compare it to my iPad all three of them were showing different colors um so I know on the driver there's a way there's like a section where you can fix the coloring so I'm gonna try figure out how to fix it and make sure that my tablet is showing srgb as my coloring um so if, even if it's not aligned to my laptop if the tablet is showing the actual color because i'm actually drawing there and i'm not looking at my laptop everything should be perfect so that's something that i have to do myself but yeah besides that i absolutely love <laughs> this tablet guys i'm in love with it um i'm gonna show more of a pro or con list towards the end of the video i also show you the specs of the tablet towards the end of the video as well um and yeah just experience wise it was amazing i work on this on my on my in my living room um on like a circular table or i actually bring it to me with me on my bed and it's it's very thin so i don't mind holding it on my lap and i think that it works perfectly like that um i think xp pen has a great product here um i think that their installation was very easy the driver was like this kind of one page system and if you needed more advanced stuff you can click on it and it'll send you to a different page so you continue to customize what you need either pen pressure either on the the but the express keys on on the pen either the express keys on the side the coloring you know hooking up to whatever mon monitor that you have um i think that it was so easy to understand it did take me a while since it's my first one but i know that as i continue to go back to the driver to make sure I'm, everything's updated um i know that i know what to look for at this point um yeah so if you're thinking of getting an xp pen tablet i say definitely go for it um obviously do your research if you want to look between xp pen galmon huion wacom but if you're looking for budget friendly high quality products i definitely Think that actually pen and definitely Huion is what will be in your price range um after a bunch of research i did end up going with xp pen um jen actually also bought xp pen tablet as well so definitely look out for an unboxing and her review for that pretty soon but yeah if you're an ipad user and you're thinking of upgrading definitely go for an xp pen if you're a first time user just in general of anything besides drawing on your phone i definitely say go with your ipad because or buying an ipad because of the portability it's a lot smaller you know less pressure and you know you don't have to worry about anything extra an ipad is kind of a one-stop shop and it's just you don't have to hook it up to anything else especially if you don't have a laptop or any desktop ipad is like your computer and ipad together so currently right now i'm putting up the specs of the xp pen innovator 16 tablet um you can find this on their website and depending on what tablet you're looking for they're gonna have a spec section so you can definitely look at it for coloring and pressure and things like that and now i'm showing the pros and cons of everything after i thought about everything um, this is what i believe are the pros and cons for this tablet not much cons or at least not much i could see as a first time user but i do think someone who's more advanced or has used a bunch of different tablets in the past could probably find some more cons but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm very much happy for my purchase by the time i'm recording this it's thanksgiving so happy thanksgiving to those who, who celebrate it um xp pen and huion are both doing a black friday sale um i know xp pen finishes their black friday sale december 1st um huion i don't know and i'm assuming wacom and gamon are also doing a black friday sale so if you're really thinking of jumping to get a tablet i do say do it now um because you can get them at even more discount prices because of the black friday sale also if you also think of getting clip studio paint obviously do it now however you don't have to get clip studio paint or photoshop in order to use these tablets I, this is what i really like about um the compatibility of the xp pen tablets because they can work for as uh, for a lot of different softwares especially free software definitely look at the xp pen website to see what um softwares work on the tablet or you can easily switch it up depending on what tablet you're looking for but like i said i did use Krita in the beginning so Krita works you have many bang you have gimp 
Um, there's a lot of free softwares that you can actually use on this um, tablet. So if money's tight, don't think about clips that you're paying. Don't think about Photoshop. Krita is an, another amazing one that I want to actually go back and use again. Regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope just hearing my, my experience with everything. I'm not like in a professional, so this can't be a full-blown tech review but i really do hope you guys like it like i said happy thanksgiving to those that celebrate it jen is actually gonna um i don't know if i mentioned this but jen's gonna get her own tablet pretty soon by xp pen so she will do a review and her first impressions and things like that so stick around for that stick around for my clip studio paint um review well i i will also continue to talk about the tablet itself as i figure out the express keys and then i will see you in the next video oh i want to let you guys know that and i do have a ko-fi account it will be linked down below i'm opening up commissions and until the, the the last day of november there will be a discount sale uh, about 10 percent on all my commissions so that link will be down below um and if you're interested think thank you for <laughs> getting a commission by me and if you're not interested that's okay just liking subscribing and commenting will do a lot for us um or if you just want to donate um on our ko-fi account that would mean a lot for us as well anyways i hope you guys are having an amazing day and, and i will see you in the next video bye